hi uh, welcome to my channel in this short video we will see how to create smartphone like a user interface or touch based user interface for a stm32 microcontroller and uh, since qt4 microcontroller is not open source it cannot be used at least we cannot uh, use it for uh, design and development purposes stm offers its own c++ based uh, framework called as uh, touch GFX, which is which offers uh, almost similar capabilities as to Qt, and it is a very highly optimized framework which only runs on microcontrollers. It's not available on on any other platform. It's only available for STM32 microcontrollers. So this is the uh, documentation for Touch Graphics. So make sure to go through the links. It gives you a very good introduction introduction to how to use the library what are the c++ classes involved uh, there is no operating system on the microcontroller so we are confined to using uh, free rdos which is again all the code is uh, generated by touch graphics designer application which we will see and yeah so it is if you have any experience of uh, using qt or mfc in the past microsoft foundation classes uh, using touch graphics to design smartphone like UIs on a microcontroller should be very should be fairly easy enough and uh, in the end of the video and if you are really interested in microcontrollers uh, make sure to check out the embedded world conference which is held in Nuremberg so at the end of the video I am uh, I have provided links to that as well so this is the board which I will be using in this tutorial I have a STM32 H7B3 and this is what we'll be doing in this tutorial okay so let's get started so let's first start the touch graphics designer application and we'll be creating a new project uh, using this designer application we'll create a clock clock sample so here we are in the screen uh, let's create a new project first I'll just call it as clock and select the board in my case I have H7B3 that's the one which I have so I'll select that and I'll select the UI type to a clock sample application which comes along with uh, touch graphics designer so that's the clock one we'll select that and press the create button so at this stage touch graphics will generate all the necessary files which are needed and this is the id which is open now so let's have a quick look what is available what kind of widgets are available so we have buttons we have images we have various containers various shapes and progress bar, digital clocks, analog clocks, basically everything, whatever can be uh, similar to Qt. If you have used Qt or MFC in the past, this should not be a problem to you. Even if you come from a, a Windows based uh, desktop background, this should be very fairly simple enough to pick up. And uh, there are three options available here, run simulator, run target and generate code. So run simulator will just launch the as the application on your Windows PC whereas uh, run target will actually run this application on the target microcontroller and generate code will just generate the code. So I'll just uh, let's have a look at the other part of the screens as well before we generate any code. So you can define some interactions here you can add more screens you can add some triggers which we will see in subsequent future tutorials what else can be done with this uh, application uh, with this designer tools so there are a lot of options available so it's a uh, yeah it's good good design uh, tool let's uh, generate some code first okay i'll click the button to generate the code okay, and as we can see at the bottom of the screen it's uh, on the progress bar is there is some activity going on there it will generate all the c++ and the c files which are needed to run this application on the target uh, microcontroller 
and let's open the project the simulator code which was generated in visual studio so touch graphics basically generates to uh, also generates code for visual studio the simulator code i should add so if you go into this touch graphics folder inside the clock main clock folder let's go there and go inside the simulator folder and msvs which stands for microsoft visual studio and let's open the application so since this code is written in c++ and uh, it should be if you have any past experience of working with visual studio this should be very fairly simple to understand so remember this simulator code only runs on windows pc uh, this gives you a chance to see what the application will look like on the target device before actually running it on the target device so you can modify and play the code here all the necessary files and everything all the classes are generated for you you can modify them and uh, see the behavior on the on the windows machine before actually deploying it on the target device so i'll just browse some files and just uh, all the necessary files we'll in the subsequent uh, tutorials we will go into details of these classes as to what each classes and what these uh, files mean this is just a short video to explain the workflow of the and how to how to make the ui what is involved in making the ui so this is i'm just showing a brief brief process here and i'll launch it on the windows pc now so if i click run So here we are, it should launch it now, it's compiling the files and here it is now. So we can see the clock application running on the Windows, Windows OS. Yeah, and so let's see what is the process involved for uh, actually deploying the application to the microcontroller so i'll close visual studio and uh, there is another tool provided by stm which is an stm32 cube id uh, which is an eclipse based id so we'll launch that so again go back to the clock folder and there is a folder called as stm32 cube id go inside that folder and double click on the c project file dot c project file that's the name of the project file which will open up in stm32 cube ide let's open that so i'll drag the file again just to make sure it gets opened up okay yeah it's opening up now yeah and so you can see all the files here including the free rtos code as well so touch graphics designer also generates the free rtos code for you uh, which are basically a bunch of uh, c files along with the source code for the clock application and all the necessary hardware code so we are in the main.c file which contains the main loop the while loop which runs on the microcontroller we'll go into these details in subsequent tutorials so this is the tool or this id stm32 cube id is the tool which is used to debug the application on to the target device and also deploy it to the target microcontroller board so i'll just browse through some files uh, just to see what was the code which has generated automatically by the touch graphics designer and if you have used eclipse id in the past uh, this should be fairly simple to use it is an eclipse customized version of uh, eclipse id used by stm32 cube so if you want to uh, brush up your c c++ skills i think uh, these microcontrollers are a very uh, good way of enhancing your skills 
Yeah, so let's try now. Let's see the actual app, the application running on the on the target board itself now. So here it is. I have connected the microcontroller to my PC using a USB cable, which powers the board as well as uh, which also is used by the Cube ID to deploy the application here. And this is the clock application now uh, running on the running on the microcontroller it's a fairly a low power device yeah it looks good so touch graphics comes uh, comes with a uh, very lot of predefined widgets uh, among them is the clock uh, both the digital as well as analog clock and this I am showing it on my Mac and it's connected to via a single USB cable here. I'll show some more examples as well as uh, some touch based uh, interactions here. I'll just go quiet now and uh, you can see me playing with this video. Uh, sorry, playing with the some of the applications which I have uh, deployed onto, onto this microcontroller should give you a fairly good idea as to what this board is about and then uh, it i'll also at the end of this uh, presentation i have included a short link to the embedded world uh, conference if you are interested in these devices and or if you are a c++ developer looking to uh, broaden your skills then i think it's a good place to go and uh, should give you uh, an interesting insight into a lot of opportunities which are available for uh, C++ based UI developers. So let me go quiet now and then yeah I think uh, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with this uh, demonstration and presentations and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. MP1 right here. Yes. So this is a demonstration with our evaluation board. In this uh, example, you can see that on the right we have the motor. This motor is fully controlled by the Cortex M4. So the Cortex M4 is dedicated to real time activities. Whereas on the left, on the screen, you have a uh, user interface that is controlled by the Cortex A7 and the graphical processing unit. So you have two different OS running at the same time? Exactly. We have a cube based firmware on the right on Cortex M4 for the motor control, and on the left we have Linux running on the Cortex Which A7. Which kind of Linux? This is a, a fully standard Linux. Uh, mm -hmm. ST started several years ago to develop the Linux drivers. Uh, having in mind to, to port them after on the MP1 and now we are fully ready because today we, on, we announced the product last uh, week and we already have 80% of our driver that are upstream to Linux. So, um, can, can you can stand right here, so the, the, what's the considerations, uh, it's a, is it kind of like a big new uh, move? From mm. We started our... What is this? Yeah, this is, uh, this is our first uh, MP1 sum in the size of a stamp. You do a sum in the size of a what? Of a stamp. Just a stamp? Just a stamp, yeah. A little it's, tiny stamp. Yeah, it's uh, that size. Oh, a big stamp. It's one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but one it's, 
Uh, it's not that big. It's very small. It's one by one inch. Whoa. So it's a little module you put on. Uh, what did, what yeah. board you put it on? Yeah, what we is have this? all on it, all you need. We have a DRAM. We have a NAND flash. We have a SPI NOR flash, and we also have an Ethernet file. Uh, so you, you can only connect um, through, uh, your voltage yeah. and the Ethernet plug, and the web server is ready. And what is this demo here? Yeah, well, we, we try to demonstrate um, the benefits of the uh, MP1. Uh,